Greetings, viewers. It's the Cat of Object Shows. I'm 16 years old, and remember that Q&A announcement video I made back in September, well, the end of September? Welp, I did go to a vacation spot to record, which ended up being Disney, but there were some production struggles. When I did record, I couldn't exactly tell all the time what I was saying through both a mask, because I'm not revealing my face, probably ever, and all the background noise. And when I did convert the files, some of them wouldn't send at all when I emailed myself from phone to laptop. And when I took some of them to Google Drive, some of the files were too large to be virus scanned, which gave me anxiety because I didn't want to harm my computer, even though my dad said they were technically safe since they came from both his phone or mine. So the alternative I'm doing is a Google slide presentation of me explaining what happened during the trip, where I take the question and answer or basic description on this side and post a screenshot of the proof of my recording on this side. For example, my opening of the video. You could tell by all the marvel that I was on a house near Disney property. I was supposed to put my cat Chromebook case in front of my, my persona and then remove it in case anyone asked me would I be doing a face reveal, which I'm not. And I'd basically do it as a pre-recorded message to the future. For example, saying, You are receiving this message on November 13th, 2021. I am recording this on October 19th, 2021. And I'd basically tell you everything that would be going on, or I'd be recording. I'd be answering all your questions. Which would lead into, BAM. I arrive at the Magic Kingdom, 50th Anniversary Cinderella Castle. It's amazing. And then I start at Epcot, because why not? That's the first time I remembered to film for the Q&A, because I was just trying to enjoy myself as well. So, here is all your questions being answered. Cool Man 2008, where's episode 6? In the recording, I basically said it would be on the way. Shattuck, dude, why does Wrench's team lose usually? Because of their poor leadership and their poor cooperation, although, spoiler, they did win in episode 6. Hudson Hill, what are better Pop-Tarts or Popsicles? I haven't really tried either in a long time. When I did have them, they were alright, but I can't really compare them. Will there be rejoins? Maybe. I can't confirm or deny them right now. From Sayam Ahmed, the 50 starter. Who is your favorite OA character? I cannot refer to spoilers. Multiverse of Pokemon, do you love Pokemon? I've heard the name, and it looks interesting, but I've never saw it, so... I can't really tell you my favorite anime episode. I'm sorry for the spelling error, I was typing this all in manually. And I forgot to take a look. Well, I'll just keep it. It'll become a meme later. Movie, video game... I haven't really played much, either. And favorite Pokemon? Well, Pikachu's kinda cute, and all the ones in Smash are kinda alright. No, alright, they're cool. And we'll always get a Pokemon related challenge anytime soon? Probably not because copyright. Brandon Baker, Crystal Critique. What console or consoles do you play on the most, and what are some of your favorite games? Mainly Nintendo and Mario, mainly on Switch right now. Other stuff like Sonic the Hedgehog. Minecraft on basically any platform. Stuff like that. Umbrella Animated. Why does it have to host and not be a contestant? Well, an Algodoo, I was just playing with Marvel Races, and I'd rig it so that Red would win, because he's my favorite. My favorite color, mainly. So I just basically, I basically said, he has a lot of money, we'll make him a host of an object show and give it away to the winner. Better off the host, and basically an OC. The name that was credited as When Will Episode 6 Come Out? Well, it's already here when I said in the recording. It might be here by the time the vlog's release, which it is. View it. Highlighter animates. Do you have any upcoming projects not related to Oxygen Gaming? I do have a Blueprint Rock Opera album in the works. And outside of that, and outside of OIG in general, I did make an audition for Object Lockout by Wuggle. I'm still waiting back on an email as of now. I don't know if she's checked any- Oh, I'm very sorry for my cracked phone case. But anyway, yeah, I'm still waiting on a response back. I hope I get in, but at the same time, I don't know. But if that, if I do get in, that will be my side project. Forest Dare GD, favorite things. Pixar movie, all the Toy Stories. Food, basically fast food, like pizza, french fries, chicken. Color, red. And for video games, have you ever played Geometry Dash? I have not, but I've watched others play it. 
All right, now I'm out of Epcot and I'm in front of Muppet Vision 3D, a really fun attraction for the whole family. Favorite character in Oleg, like I answered before, Dylan Atkins. I cannot reveal to the spoilers. And Chili Snow, oh wow, that's zoom up from me. Chili Snowy, what, who inspired you to make Oleg? Basically the entire OC. And what do you think the future holds for the series? I will continue past the first season. Now, um, I can't believe I recorded vertical for the rest of the stuff. I'm in front of Magic Kingdom, just so you know. I'm on the left side near the beginning of Main Street, near the roundabout. Will there be a debut for Oig? There will not. Rebecca K. Lunetta, Swaggy Vortex 733 she asks two questions. Is Pinata based on anyone, like celebrity, fictional character, or IRL? Most of the characters are inspired by like a certain personality trope of mine, or someone in real life that I kind of knew pretty well at the time and grew up with, or maybe an enemy. Pinata was based off of my birthday party experiences growing up as a child in elementary school that were a lot of fun, and that happiness led into her character. And will Power Outlet and other contestant Crabby B. Cage staff members get more screen time? In the recording, I said it was a solid yes. By the way, in this recording, I got off test track. It's a lot of fun. Dylan and Den Den, will there be a season 2 of Oig? There will be. I just don't know what it'll be about. Far away, if there was a debut in Oig, who would you pick? Nobody, because I'm not doing a debut, and I probably am not going to draw recommended characters anymore. I'm sorry, but... I'm just... I just want to do other things to show and make the credits, like... Typical. Nothing against them, but... I just don't think they're for me anymore. Vance Man Official. First person you made as a character in Owing. Red. But if you're talking about contestants, football. Now, I decided to actually pay a visit to Universal. As you can tell, I am in front of Hogsmeade. Who's your favorite Smash Fighter of all time from Grayson Hall? I just basically left a list and I had to think about it a lot. So basically, Sonic, Snake, Mario, Captain Falcon, K. Rule, Banjo, Kazooie, Steve, Terry, just to name a bunch. Fireball animates. By the way, I was like saluting because of their really nice compliment. If you could choose any currently eliminated player to come back into the game, not for a rejoin, who would it be and why? In the recording, I said Gravy because she deserves so much better and got a ton of hate. Our animate. What was your favorite human design of major contestants? If you all don't know, our animate made beyond designs for my cast. And just based on the impact, Metal is probably my favorite. She's definitely grown into this whole flying eagles thing that's kind of interesting. So, just based on her impact, Metal e is my favorite design. To DRD, you know, 14, who's your favorite character or character's voice in Oic? Blueprint, football, and red are the easiest because they typically are my e they typically are my typical normal speaking range. Bluebird's more musical, but that's more fun. But those three are like the easiest, and they're more straight away. I can just simply do an impression of all three of them right now, but I'm just gonna move on with this. Now I'm at the animation courtyard outside the Star Wars launch bay and the Disney Junior Dance Party. My little sister loves Bamparina. It is a, quite a cute show. I would check it out. It's it's a lot of fun. I haven't been in there due to my crowd cheer trigger, but she did, and she loved it. GNLAS, how'd you come up with the idea for your object show? I just wanted to be like everyone else and was inspired by them. So I just basically sat down, came up with a gas, and then boom, drawing board. Now I am outside the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway after the Pixar cavalcade went by. Will Oic have a second season? I answered that before. I will. I just don't know what the premise will be. Now I am walking towards the entrance of Magic Kingdom again to say goodbye to a special friend of mine, which is what I said in the video. And that special friend is Splash Mountain, my favorite ride ever. I decided to go on a final ride through because they're replacing it. I think it might be pretty good though, but it's still a classic attraction they're getting rid of. Anyway, Avazer 2020, favorite episode of Oig. What do you think of the show? I'm just going to say that they keep getting better and better as episodes go by, so... Stay tuned and subscribe. I think it's going in a good direction right now. Blue Screeny 91, say hello to the monorail track above me. If you have one rejoin, Oleg, who would like to rejoin? Again, me. 
gravy. Alright, now I'm outside the haunted mansion in the dark. I had to really knock these last few minutes out so I can get through the rest of the list of questions. So, Epic Nations, is Cookie X Dead Football going to be official? In the recording, I basically did this. Well, <laughs> that is for you to decide. Then I just whispered something, a yes or no. I'm not telling you which. Enjoy these filters because it was hard to see me in all that darkness. Animated Abe, do you like Tom and Jerry? If so, favorite short. As a child, I do remember watching it, but I don't remember a specific short. But yeah, it was pretty funny. And the final question, oh, that is a lot of cyan, from CCD18. How does it feel to own your own object show? It's pretty awesome. And that actually is it. Exodus is basically the last scene in a play. If you're learning about Greek theater in English too or something and reread Oedipus, that's a little vocabulary for you. Now, that is the end. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for a thousand subs. Let's go! And I decided to record one final clip that I'm actually going to maintain the recording for just so I can end this vlog with tears in your eyes. To infinity. And beyond. <laughs>